It's March 2023 and custom launchers can be used again on the Fire TV stick. If I press the home button, you'll see we'll go back into Wolf Launcher. If you're watching this as a short, tap the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So before we start, we need to ensure that we've removed any other versions of Launcher Manager. If we've still got them installed, then it's going to interfere with this and could potentially do irreversible damage to the Fire TV stick. So let's just go across over here to the settings cog, okay, go across to applications, middle button, and then go down to manage installed applications, middle button, and then have a look and see whether you can see Launcher Manager there. As you can see, I've got Launcher Manager installed on mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it and then press the play pause button on the remote control to uninstall it. Once we've pressed that, we get this confirmation here. So it says uninstall Launcher Manager. Deleting this app will free up 4.39 megabytes of storage. The app will be deleted from all non-child profiles. Are you sure you want to continue? So yeah, make sure that confirms highlighted. Middle button on the remote control. And there you go. Uninstalling application. Now, the next thing we need to do, and this is just for safety's sake, we need to restart the Fire Stick. So go to the settings cog and then go down to My Fire TV and then go down to restart, highlight that, middle button on the remote control, left button on the remote control to highlight, restart, and middle button. Let the Fire TV stick restart. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that download is installed. So go across to the magnifying glass there, middle button on the remote control, go down to search, middle button, and then just start to type on your keyboard, downloader. And as you're typing it, you should see it appear in these suggestions underneath. Once you see it, highlight downloader, middle button on the remote control. Make sure this orange and white downloader icon is selected under apps and games, middle button on the remote control, and then middle button again to start downloading. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection and your fire stick. But basically, once you see open, it is downloaded and ready. So let's just go into it first of all. So go into it. Now this is very important. You need to make sure that you allow downloader access to photos, media and files on your device. So make sure that allow is highlighted. This, as I say, is very, very important. So with allow highlighted, middle button on the remote control and then middle button again to get rid of the quick start guide. Now, I know it's going to sound crazy, but we'll need to come out of this because we need to do a few more adjustments. So let's just press the back button on the remote control a couple of times till we get back to here then press the home button on the remote control to go back to the main menu and then go across to the settings cog just over there on the right then go down to my fire tv middle button on the remote and then you're looking for developer options now if like mine you haven't got developer options in there go into about so middle button on the remote control highlight the name of your device like mine says fire tv stick 4k yours may say something different and then just push the middle button on the remote control repeatedly until you see the message, no need, you're already a developer. Then stop pushing the button, then press the back button on the remote control, and there you should see developer options below about now. So go down to developer options, middle button on the remote control, then go down to apps from unknown sources. If that's switched off, middle button on the remote control and then middle button again and then that turns it on. If you have install unknown apps instead of apps from unknown sources then all you need to do is highlight install unknown apps, middle button on the remote control, find downloader and if it's set to off middle button to turn it back on. And then we need to ensure that ADB debugging is actually switched on. So as you can see, mine set to off. So highlight ADB debugging, middle button on the remote control and make sure that it's switched on. Then keep pressing the back button until we get back to the main menu. The next thing we need to do is we need to go into downloader. OK, and then go up middle button on the remote and type in 21203. That's 21203. Then press the play pause button 
and then hopefully after a few seconds it should connect to the download section on my website. So once we get there what we need to do is we need to go down and we need to find a Wolf Launcher. So this is something that I like, I prefer. So let's just go and download Wolf Launcher. So highlight the Wolf, middle button on the remote control, and then hopefully after a few seconds, it should start to download. And there we go, once it starts downloading, hopefully shouldn't take too long. Once you see this or a black screen, go down until cancels highlight at the bottom and then go to the right so that installs highlighted, middle button, and then Wolf Launcher will then load. Make sure that done is selected, middle button, and then on this screen here, then we need to select delete. So press the right button, middle button, then press the left button to highlight the second delete, and then middle button. We don't need to keep that file. So what we need to do is we just need to briefly come out of downloader. So press the home button, and then what we need to do is we need to find the Wolf Launcher and launch it. So press and hold the home button on the remote control, go across to apps, middle button, and then go down and find the W just there. There you go, blue and white W. So middle button and let Wolf Launcher load. It might take a few seconds the very first time. We just wanna make sure that it's working okay. We don't wanna set it to launch if it's not working. So like I say, this bit could take a few seconds. There we go. And you might have, like me, a gap at the top of the screen. If you've got that, Press and hold the middle button on the remote control until this menu appears, okay? And then you can either pick a widget if you've got any widgets in there, or if you haven't got any widgets, then go down to launcher settings, middle button, go to sections, middle button, and then manage sections and just basically move applications up. So select applications there, press the up button on the remote and then the middle button and then just go down to close middle button and there you go as you can see here after pressing the back button a few times we've got this set up with all the apps right at the top of the screen so now the next thing we want to do is we want to set it up so that when we press the home button on the remote control we actually get wolf launcher come up rather than this launcher so what we want to do is we want to go back to downloader so if you can't see downloader press and hold the home button on the remote go across to apps middle button and then go down to downloader middle button and hopefully you should still be on my page if you're not on my page and you're back to this one here you want to type in there 21203 go down to go middle button and uh, go back to the page so once you're at my downloads page then what you want to do is you want to go down a little bit further and uh, let's just go down to launch manager there and make sure it says version 1.1.8 just at the bottom there okay move your mouse somewhere over the yellow cog middle button and then hopefully launcher manager the latest version should start installing or downloading once you see the screen or a similar one, keep going down so that cancels highlighted, then press the right button so that installs highlighted, middle button, and let it install. Once you see done, middle button, and then go across to delete here, middle button, and then go across to the second delete there, middle button. Okay, and then we need to keep tapping the left part of the mouse on the remote control till we're back to home. Middle button, back button twice. What we need to do now is we need to try and find Launcher Manager. So press and hold the home button on the remote control till this appears. Go across to Apps, then go down and across and find this white cog with a blue background. Once you've seen that, middle button, and then we should get Launcher Manager come up. So here we've got Launcher Options. So make sure that's highlighted, middle button, and what we want to do is here is we've got the old method here. Now that doesn't work anymore on the Fire Stick or the Cube. So just ignore this section here. We want to go down, first of all, to the LM Custom Launcher and the Custom Launcher Options right at the bottom there. So once you've highlighted Custom Launcher Options, middle button, and then what we want to do is we want to select our launcher. So let's just go down to where it's got Active Launcher, middle button, and we want to select from there, Wolf Launcher. 
or the launcher of your choice. And then go up to LM handler status. As you can see there, it says inactive. Middle button on the remote control to make that active. And then we go back one and we go back into launcher options. Okay, so middle button. And then we want to go down to where it says new method uses ADB to open custom launcher. So make sure that you've highlighted home button hook. It should say status disabled, middle button, and then what we want to do is we want to turn both of these on. So we want to turn on home button hook. So hook state is currently off. So highlight it, middle button. And then we get this allow USB debugging. So make sure that we've got a blue border around the square that's to the left of always allow from this computer. Press the middle button on the remote control. There you go. And a blue tick should appear in there. Once you see the blue tick there, go down, highlight, OK middle button and there you go it says please wait setting up lm hook so it's gone back to this screen here highlight again oh no here we go it's gone back to launcher manager so that's fine okay go down uh, go to launcher options so middle button and then go to home button hook again and we need to make sure that that is switched on and also where it's got use adb for home make sure that's switched on so go down Hook state is on by pressing the middle button and then go down again. Just make sure that everything else is disabled. So press the back button once. And then what we want to do is want to go into launcher options again and just go into custom launcher options there and just make sure that LM handler status is active and the active launcher is wolf launcher. OK, so now I've got my remote control in hand. So let's just just keep pressing the back button on the remote. So we're back to the main menu here. As you can see, we've still got the original launcher. But if I press the home button on the remote, the picture of the house. There we go. We have got the custom launcher there. We've got Wolf Launcher come up and it's great because even when we restart the Fire Stick, so let's go back into the, uh, the, the the menu options for the Fire Stick. So I'm going to press and hold the home button on the remote till this comes up. OK, let's just go across to settings, down to My Fire TV and then go down to restart. And we're going to let the Fire Stick restart. There we go. So my Fire Stick is just restarting. And what we're going to do is we're just going to see what happens now when we go back into the fire stick to just make sure that it fires up when we first turn on it still works it still holds after a restart so here we go we're just going in and as you can see first of all yes it does go into the original fire stick menu but hopefully after a few seconds it should then go into, there you go, Wolf Launcher. Now, I haven't pressed anything on the remote control to get to that. That has gone to Wolf Launcher. And let's just go, say, perhaps to Downloader. OK, go back into Downloader. I've finished with Downloader, so I'm going to press the Home button on the remote control. And there we go. It did flip back for a little while into the original Amazon screen, but it has gone back to the, uh, the Wolf Launcher. So it's still work in progress, this, but it's obviously a lot, lot better than it ever was since Amazon blocked previous versions of it. So let's let's just try going into YouTube. So I've got, I'm going into YouTube. OK, and let's just press the home button on the remote. So again, as you can see, it goes into the Amazon menu just briefly and then flips across back to Wolf Launcher. Hopefully this is something that the developer possibly could work on in the future, but I'm sure you'll agree it's much, much better. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.